Hello, dear colleagues. My name is Ivan Simyan, and I'm the head of the Laboratory of Experimental Archaeology in South Ural State University. And I welcome you in our hot point. Today, I will tell you about the history of experimental archaeology in our region in South Ural. Our hot point is located in the South Urals in Russia, in the city of Chelyabinsk. The city is located on the geological border of the Urals and Siberia, in the Asian part of Russia, on the eastern slope of the Ural Mountains. Perhaps you have heard about our city because in uh, 2013 a meteorite fell on it. Here is one of its parts. The South Ural is rich in monuments of archaeological heritage. Many tendencies of world culture are manifested in local archaeology. I will briefly tell you about some of them. The Paleolithic and Mesolithic of this area is marked by magnificent rock art in such monuments as the Ignatievska and Kapova caves. These are beautiful images of bisons, mammoths, uh, rhinoceros, wild horses and even camels. There are numerous Neolithic and Enneolithic Halcolithic monuments, such as the Megalith of the Vira Island, magnificent archaeology of the Iranian-speaking nomads of the steppes of the early Iron Age, Scythians and Sarmatians times, impressive mausoleums of the medieval nomads. But there is an archaeological site that gave power to the development of experimental archaeology in our region. This is a fortified settlement of the Bronze Age, called Arkaim. Today, 25 large fortified settlements of this type are known, but in the 1989, when the monument was opened, was discovered, it became a sensation and the Arkaim Archaeological Reserve was created. It was created by the discoverer of Arkaim, Dr. Gennady Zdanovich. Under his leadership, the Arkaim Reserve became a center of the development of archaeological reconstruction and experimental archaeology. Unfortunately, in this speech I can, cannot list all those archaeologists, historians and experimentators who worked on Arkaim, but they have created a large number of magnificent reconstructions. At the excavation site of the settlement was created the models of the structures of the dwellings, Bronze Age dwellings. A full-size uh, reconstruction of the Arkaim dwellings of the Bronze Age also was created with a real well, metallurgical and heating furnaces, um, heating furnaces. And um, our team, the staff of our laboratory, still use it for ex the experiments. Reconstructions of the dwellings of the steppe horse hunters of the Halcolithic era uh, also were built uh, and with the all interior, with the all uh, equipment, tools, decorations, and even the full scale reconstructions uh, of the uh, culture of Iron Age. Uh, and even the mound with the burial of the Sarmadian leader and his wife. But I would like to say also about another, uh, another one of the founders of experimental archaeology in the southern Urals, a person who began to apply it in the archaeological teaching, Dr. Nikolai Vinogradov. He has been actively applying archaeological reconstruction in the teaching of school children and students since the 70s. And in the late 80s, he was the first who organized an international experimental camp on the Bronze Age settlement of Ustye, which included participants from USA and Western Europe. The professional community in our region 
has important experience, and this experience continues today in the South Ural State University, one of the largest universities in our, our country. Uh, in 2018, the Laboratory of Experimental Archaeology was opened at the Scientific and Educational Center of the Eurasian Studies in South Ural State University. Uh, laboratory is engaged in scientific, educational and museum activities in cooperation with the Department of the History of South Ural State University. Uh, the lab prepared bachelor historians on the topic of experimental archaeology and cultural heritage management. Every summer, first-year students go to the archaeological excavations where, among other works, they are given classes on the ancient technologies, flint napping, archaeometology, pottery, and we also carry out a large project in which our student mapped antiquities, study artifacts found on them and reconstruct them. And I want to tell you about some of interesting scientific experiments of our team. Bronze Age weapons of the late Bronze Age in South Urals contain an admixture of arsenic and for a long time researchers have been debating whether this admixture is natural or the ancient mythologists uh, added arsenic salt. We decide to test this hypothesis that arsenic was contained in the original ore. We took the copper ore acerate from the Tashkazgan Bronze Age mine, the most uh, Oxidizide pieces uh, were selected and the ore was, was crushed into powder. Then we put this ore in the, um, in the furnace and with the primitive bellows we began to restore the metal. We got several small, very small um, melted um, piece, of, piece of the metal and after that, we um, cast the arrowhead of the Sintashta type in a stone mold. An analysis of the metal of this arrowhead showed that it is contain an arsenic impurity. Another interesting project concerns to the reconstruction of the chariot of the Sintashta culture which dates back to the 21th century BC and uh, is considered archaeologically the earliest find. But there is a heated discussion in the scientific community about their purpose and tactical and technical characteristics. In 2015, for field tests we made a working full-scale model, but it had metal parts. In 2018, a full-scale exhibition model was made for the Archaim Reserve, but it was too heavy and not possible for use. At the moment, we have started a large project for the complete reconstruction of authentic chariot complex, and by the summer of this year, we plan to build two versions of the chariot for testing, and they'll then build one of the chariot using Bronze Age tools. Separately, I would like to say about the festivals. In the Archaeological Reserve Archaim, we hold the Flame of Archaim Festival, which brings together many archaeologists and reenactors. This year, it will be dedicated to the Bronze Age and will be attended by the several Exarch members from Russia and Europe. Also, for several years, we were one of the organizers of the one of the biggest and largest festival of uh, historical reenactment times and epoch in Moscow. And we created stone and Bronze Age locations uh, together with the Exarch and presented the Exarch there. An important part of our strategy in working with the reenactors is promotion of the local archaeological heritage. And I will give you a few examples. You can see the reconstructions of the images of people of Bronze Age, the Scythian nomad, and the early Middle Ages nomad. And we are engaged in archaeological uh, 
teaching and among our team there are people who have gone with us from school children to bachelors of the history and archaeology and we are confident that our deal that our work will develop in the future dear colleagues thank you very much for the attention